Hey guys, and today I'm going to show you a few exercises that will help in each in each one, but maybe not the head. So, our first one is going to be a bait. First, we're going to do a bit of stretching. Important to do stretching before you do a workout because if you don't do a bit of if you don't do stretching, you might not you might be a bit sleepy. You might not do the exercise as well. So the first one is easy. You have to keep your toes, push them a little far, and then try to touch them. Don't bend your knees. If if you are if you don't if you're not bending your knees, you should feel a bit of a strain at the back of your leg. So do this for ten seconds at least. Ten seconds, okay? Once you've done that, we're going to do it with one leg. The exact same, but just push this a little bit more out because you will, it will help you stretch a little bit more. You can still feel the strain. Switch to the other leg now. And don't bend your legs. Just remember that tip. It should be a bit straight. It should be straight, and it only your knee, your knee should go lift a little up. Okay. Once you've done that, we're gonna do something else. We're gonna first, we're gonna do this. Touch your toes with this. Touch them. You should feel a strain of that back heel. After you do that, if you want to challenge yourself to do even better stretching, try to touch the ground with your hands and don't bend your knees. If that's too hard for you, try doing this every day and then slowly you'll be able to like, get your palm on the floor. Now we're going to stretch out our arms. You're gonna, first, now we're going to stretch out our arms. Since we did our, did our um, legs, actually we're gonna do our feet. So we're gonna go like, like small circles with your foot. Try to keep your balance. Don't fall. It's important to keep it like this. You'll now it won't get like your stretch and not kind of stretch, but like help a little bit later on in the workout. Then once you've done that, switch to your next leg. Both your knees. Now I'm going to stretch out our, our hips. So we're going to go like this. And this. 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 Now, once you've stretched out those hips, it's time to stretch out our hands. So with our hands, we're gonna go in big giant circles. One hand, keep your hand here, next to your shoulder, and then go make big circles, and then you should feel a little stretch. Once you've done that, switch hands, and do the exact same. Then we're gonna do it with both hands. We're gonna go like this. Faster, if you would like to go fast, go fast. This will help you stretch. Also, you'll feel a little pain here. So, once you've done that, you should, you need to stretch, you can stretch out your head like this. Then that look down, up, down, up, down, up. Then move your head in circles. You might you might feel a little dizzy, but after I 
from my shop to the ditch you won't be able to get to anymore. So now we're gonna move on to the exercises. So first we're gonna work out our hands. Okay? So what you're gonna do is put your legs back this, keep your hands a little far, and like at least one, two, three, three hands out. And then you wanna go all the way down, touch your chest to the floor. If that's too hard for you, then do the same, but put your knees, put your knees like this, knees on the floor, Get right, your hands one, two, three, then push up, touch your your chest to the floor. So what that helps is it helps you get your arms stronger. So then maybe you can throw stronger stronger. If you wanna do both, you can do maybe five push ups with your feet like this and then do five. Again, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Then you've done ten. Now, if you feel a little pain here, that's good because then your muscles are going to be growing. So, one, two, three, I'll do it again. If you miss, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, it's important you get a lot of water, okay? If, and if you want to chat, if you want your muscle, if you want to improve it a lot, then it, it's, just remember, it's good to do it more time. If you feel more pain, then your muscles are gonna develop quicker. So, moving on to the next exercise, which is a plank. So it's like a push up, but this time our knees don't go like this. You can't do, for example, like this. Also, you can't go like this. And the last one, you can't go like this. That's cheating. You need to make sure you are straight and it's straight. Eight line, lift your butt up a little bit. Don't go like this, go up. Like that, perfect. If you like that, good. And stay like this for at least 20 to 30 seconds. If you want to challenge, 45 seconds. And somebody did the plan for eight hours. That's the record, eight hours, one minute. But that's really hard to do. So, first try this. Once you get perfect, start make, increasing the time up. How, if that, if, if that is already too easy for you, then start doing it for like two, one minute, two minutes. I did for at least one, two minutes once. So, if you, if you want to do it, you can also do it this, you can do this. It's like it's like a plank, and but you need to keep so you keep one hand like this, okay? And then your feet should be like this, one foot on the floor, one foot a little bit up, and then keep your hand up like this. Try not to try not to move. You should feel um some pain here and a little pain here. So, so when you do this, the, once you've done that, you can do it the, the same, but on the other side, like this. Well, try not to walk, fall down. Don't try what the last hand did in AC Milan, if you watch that clip. Okay, once you've done that, we have, got these um, a bit more stronger. Then we're gonna keep our legs up a little like this. So we're gonna go this and then keep, keep your hands
hands off. Now, we're gonna do something with this. So once your legs are like this, and your hands are like this, try to move them slowly up, hold, go down. Slowly up, slowly down. Well, maybe that, go, that goes for the back. So don't, that's for the back, save that for the back. Now we're gonna we're gonna do the we're gonna work out now our bellies, our our stomach. So you're gonna first what we're gonna do is sit ups. Now if if this is completely new to you, sit ups. Put help ask a friend or a, somebody who can help you. Hold your feet still. Um, um, once you've done it like a million times, you don't need help. So, so if you don't need help, you need to keep your legs together. Go up, come back up, touch your toes, back. I do 30 now from now on. Since I learned it, so you go. You could also do it with the ball. Imagine you're holding a ball in your hand. Touch the floor. Touch the ball with the floor. Touch the ball with your toes. Go back. Touch the ball with your toes. Come back. Touch it with your toes. If you don't, don't worry. You can just do with this. This. Touch your toes. This. This. Touch your toes. For this video, I'm not going to do as much as I normally do because I have to help you do all these exercises. So now you've helped this get stronger, your core. You need to, then you can do push-ups again if you want. I mean, sometimes it, if, if you do it a different way, it could help your body sometimes. Like, actually no, just try. The basic one that I showed you right now, the um, sit-ups for kids, just try it. If, if you want to do something else, then uh, I have no clue. So once you've worked out your core, you want, we're going to work out our thighs. It's basically this. So you want to get closer and see. So it's the this part of the legs here and it should be like this part and so it's the same with the other foot like this this part so the first one is um it's like what most people do to work out your thighs so we're gonna go hold, keep your hands crossed like this or go or you can go like or you can go like um this or like this or you could do the thing i showed you now it doesn't count you can't do this you can't go like this and up not like this that's not that's not a full proper squat now and it's also not a squat if you this is and this is not a squat like this and then you go all the way up that's not a squat a squat is you hold your hands here or do whatever with your hands like this but keep your hands together you go down you bend keep your bum out like this hold five seconds back up back bum out hold for five seconds back up that's a proper squat this i've done a, i've done 200 at least now 200 or maybe more 280 or something so on if you if you challenge yourself you could do 100 but i say don't do it like like one two three four five six seven and nine ten eleven twelve without having a break I did my first 100, if I missed, I would do 20 squats, 
I did that like I did that five times. I had to do a hundred at the end. And if you really want to do it, do like do the squat a hundred times. I did that only once, but there I took very short take very short breaks if you want to do it. Don't do squats like very quickly because it, the reason for that is well when you wake up your legs will be like very exhausted and just like when you walk like everywhere you don't have a car and you go on a vacation you have to walk everywhere right you have to walk everywhere once you walk your legs start to pain a bit more so you take short breaks and drink lo loads of water when you do it next one is kind of like sitting on a chair so so it's like a squat but you stay still you go like this and keep your hands out there hold your legs so you'll feel you'll feel some pain here that means it's going to get stronger when you toss it will be very hard that means your muscles are growing but for some reason when you go up people think why isn't it strong I like it like how it was before because this for some reason, it does that. So, you go like this, it will pain. That means if you do it like a, long, a lot, you'll, if you're a football player, many people do like squats and help their thighs get stronger and their core. Because in football, you use your core and your thigh muscles to shoot. So, like, you go like not like that, but like, it's very hard for me to demonstrate without a football, but I'm not allowed to keep balls inside the house. So, it, what that does is helps your shots get stronger, the football player, or it helps you run faster. Like for example, if you're always running this fast, it helps you run this fast. I can't run so fast, so it's a small pace, space. So. Once you, once you have done that, you will see an improvement if you do that for like 30 days. Now what we're going to do here, it will help our um, backs again. It's the same thing, that, it's the same thing. So we keep our legs like this, like this, and a little up, then up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, slow, don't go very fast, like, if you go like, that's not a proper one, you need to hold, so up, hold, down, up, hold, down, okay, try not to touch the floor, if now you can, and you can also do another one, so, keep, very straight, keep your hands up and then kick like you like you're swimming, kick. Kick at the back, which helps your back get stronger. And you will get it you will you'll feel a lot of pain in your back. So once if you've done that, that means it's good. Um this my if you do happen, if you have something like this called a wobble, if you have it, here's an exercise I can show you on it. So you keep one foot here, here, and then put your other foot up here. Then you bend like this and go down. Back up, down, back up, down. Back up, down. Do it like so. If you do it so many times, you'll feel a lot of pain on your thighs. As I told you, when you feel a lot of pain somewhere, that means it's helping, it's making your body stronger. And remember, you don't just get strong by just eating junk food and doing exercises. You need to eat proper food that helps your body, like carbohydrates protein, dairy, and and the 
it's the fruit, five different food groups except for fat. What fat? You can only have a little bit of fat because that's a diet. So I would say not. I would say have a little bit of can one candy um, a week. Do actually three candies, two candies a week. Okay, and junk food. I have like junk food. Maybe I have. I, I don't. I'm not allowed to. Have, I don't know. I'm not. I can only have McDonald's once in ten months now. So, as you can see, we were talking. I'm still on the wobble, doing it properly. I wanted to make that go up and bend. So, if you don't have that, don't worry. Okay. Most people don't get wobbles. So. Our next exercise is well, um, if you want to do it, it push-ups again, you could. Um, you could do push-ups, and I'm pretty sure all of you have dumbbells. But if you don't, I have one, but I'm just going to demonstrate one second. you could use water bottles fill them up with water now keep your hands like this then don't move your um, keep your hands like this don't move your anybody just move you remember you're working with your hands go up down up down up down up down, up, down. as you can see you're not going to move any part of your body and you're gonna lift them up. You could do it with one bottle, with one hand, same, but don't move your face up, down, up, down. Uh, if you have dumbbells, do the same. I have them, but they're upstairs. I would waste of time. So, next we're gonna do some, we're gonna do some, an exercise it that helps um so what you're gonna do is you're gonna keep be in a push-up position you reach it's kind of like mountain climbers but you go all the way up touch you have to touch your opposite try to go close go close to your opposite elbow and do the same it will help you get stronger. Um, maybe in your back or maybe in your on your in your legs. Depends on how you do it. Or you, but I'm pretty. You might feel pain here on this part, and that means your muscles are going. It's kind of like mountain climbers, but you go like this, <laughs> like this. And next one is mountain climbers. So push up position again. So you go up, 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 up. Like that, do it as many times as you want. Remember, do it like this, you'll feel pain here. Of course, you know what that means. Your muscles are gonna go. If you don't, and for the sit-up, if you don't have anyone to help hold your feet, you could just do this, keep your feet under something like this, and then go, pull your head up. If you go like this, yeah, that's for beginners. But if you're an amateur, hold your hand and go up. Amateur or like keeping, holding, somebody holding your leg or keeping your leg stable or something, and then holding your head. Pros do this. So pros, professionals go like this. No, I mean, semi pros like me go like this. And people, professionals go like with your head. And you have to go all the way up. 
and it's hard to do. Um, before those, uh, if you're doing that sitting thing, a little help you could what you could do is like if you have a wall or something, stand, keep your being on the wall and go like this. Hold. Don't touch anything. Hold. If you need a little help. And remember to bend down a little. And yeah, if you want more, if you want to do this, it's a bit hard, but you can do it. So you go up and not like that. No. So go like this. It's an exercise that I don't know the name of, but it helps. Like a frog. But you should feel a lot of pain here on your thighs. Who gets you stronger? And yeah, that's how you do it. And hope. I hope you drank a lot of water. I drank a lot of water. Now we're gonna do some stretching because we finished our workout. So we're gonna keep our feet here, like this. Keep them far out, and then stretch out for this one. Make sure this one doesn't bend especially. Then switch to the same. This one should not bend, this one should not bend. So, if you're doing that, keep doing it. You'll feel stretch. You're gonna stretch like that. Then the same here, and you can then you do the butterfly. So you go like this, this, this. It will. You will feel a strain here, and keep your feet together and hold the butterfly. The the feet, when you hold it, it makes a butterfly, and the wings are the butterfly's wings. So, after you've done that, you can do some other stretches that, you know, like, you know, and you can go like this. I'm not pretty good at that, but you can do that. Stretch, stretches, and whatever stretches you know that help. Yeah, so. Hope you enjoyed the video and make sure you subscribe to Ethan even though I don't have a profile on YouTube and you should support this team. This team is the best team and you should support it. Unless if Ronaldo leaves too. Bye, support Bye. Bye.